This is Laura Alexandria Serra, and this is Lawyer Talk live from my office in El Paso. Today we're talking about the new directive that went into effect last night. It is countywide and it has a lot more restrictions than the first one. You may think it's similar, but it's not. So I'm going to go over the big differences between this one and last one and then open it up for any questions that you may have. I've been getting lots of questions already. I'm going to go over some of those, but if you still have different ones, send them in. All right, the first big change is this, is that even after the last directive, people were still gathering, right? There was this no more than 10. Well, now it's zero. You cannot gather outside or inside homes with anyone, family or otherwise, unless they live in the residence with you. I will say that again. No gathering inside or outside your home with family, girlfriends, boyfriends, whatever, right? unless they live with you, okay? So that doesn't mean you can drop in and hang out with any of your friends. It's not happening, okay? Now, if you are taking them supplies, groceries, things like that, you're picking them up and taking them to the doctor, that's fine, but no just hanging out. I can't stress that enough. The second big change is outdoor activities. A lot of you are super upset about this and I understand that, but parks are closed bike trails, hike trails, that includes skate parks, dog parks, all of that stuff, you should not be going out and hanging out there. That's what the directive said. Now, I know we have all kinds of questions about whether or not it's gonna be enforced, but that's what the directive says, okay? So any outside recreational centers, uh, things like that, those are done too. If you are out and about, remember, do not touch anything, no playground equipment, anything like that. If you have a community park that's not necessarily a city park, that there may be some leeway there. Like if you have a community park in your subdivision, maybe okay, but don't have your kids touching the equipment. Uh, the virus stays on metal for a significant period of time, okay? And remember all the social distancing and washing your hands. The outdoor activities that are allowed are running in your neighborhood, walking in your neighborhood, walking your dog in your neighborhood, just stay away from people, okay? But any public recreation area or park or trail, nope, they're done. So I know a lot of you are upset about that. The next big change is uh, the 100 mile travel, all right? So this is gonna affect my truckers. Everybody who's going back and forth exchanging kids out of town. People who may be going deeper in Mexico, um, not just Juarez, okay? Things like that. If you are a technician, electrician, and you go 100 miles outside of town and you come back, you're going to have to isolate yourself and quarantine. I've been on the phone with the county government seeing if that is really the case, and the answer is yes. You can go back and forth to the oil fields, but when you come back here, you need to be staying in your home because they don't know what you had been exposed to during that time, okay? Doesn't necessarily have to be the 14 days. Let's say you work where you work 21 days straight and then you come back for five or whatever. Those five days, you stay in your home, you go back to the oil field. That's allowed. Truckers or technicians, you come home to sleep, that's it. But that is the intent of this directive. So that affects a whole lot of people. And then for construction and other types of jobs, there are a lot stricter uh, restrictions on protocols. So those are the biggest changes that I see in this directive. Now I'm going to open it up to questions, so let me know what you have to ask.